Okay, so grab your racket if you don't have it yet. Uh, we're gonna do two minute sessions, low paced movement. A low pace is obviously, it's a little bit individual thing. So definitely don't go fast. We, we're gonna just form up the body with this one. Uh, let's see, the first one, where's my list of things we need to do? There we are. We're gonna start with the left, right, uh, backhand, forehand volleys. So you're starting from the T position, turning in, stepping in, volleying about a shoulder height, and then going to the other side. Okay, two minutes, let's go. And as we go here, make sure there's enough weight shifting. So your weight stays on the front foot throughout your swing. Before you take that step, make sure that your upper body is rotated, especially on the backhand side. So you technically are in order and, and, and having, you know, having the ability to hit a good straight ball. Try to keep your racket open after the contact point so you can carry the ball or you can aim wherever you want to hit the ball. So don't rush. What comes to rhythm, work on that little shifting switch in the middle of this court. So when you come back, nice light footwork, rotating the body to the other side and then swinging away. One thing also to keep in mind is your breathing. Try to get a good amount of air, especially if you're wearing a mask. <laughs> so there are a lot of things that this can serve for. So it's really having the focus technically, having a clean shot, the rhythm and the balance, and then the physical part, the light-footed switch of, of direction, rotation of your upper body, and then that step in to the shot. Okay, that's two minutes. So next one is gonna be the front corners. We're gonna play drives front. So what, what it means when you move to a front corner, we are a little bit warmed up now, not completely, and definitely the legs are not stretched well. So don't go into a full lunge right away, but ideally you work your way into a lower position. So imagine yourself being in the front corner and you're playing a, let's say, heavy drive. So you wanna have that upper body rotated enough, facing the sidewall and, and keeping, maintaining that balance throughout the swing, coming back to the T and then returning to the other side. Obviously, if you don't have a lot of space, you don't move in a V form like you on the court you would, so you can do it just on a straight line. It's a little bit easier because then you really did that, that square position next to the ball. Um, okay, two minutes and go. Making sure that you're turning enough to getting the Physically, a good pos uh, position to hit the ball straight. So here, ideally you go, if you look at from the side, so you're in a low position, then you come back up straight with your body and then you go low again. So try to get that lunge 
extending it a little bit. Shot after shot. You're not too straight up. You don't have to go fast. It's just extending those movements so you get a little bit more range of motion. Same with your swing. Rotate the upper body. Create big enough swing. That's the next one. Last one. Good. Okay, so we don't have breaks here. We're gonna go straight to the next one. That's back corners. So imagine moving into with the shuffling with the ball into one back cor uh, corner each time. So you're shuffling, preparing, preparing your backswing, hitting the ball, returning straight forward to the tee, and same on the other side. Uh, depending on your space, you have to might have to adjust your movements quite a bit. Ideally, after that sideways movement, you have enough space to step in. That's when you're in the back corner. Okay, let's see. Here we go. Two minutes. Okay. Shuffling. Also, the back corner rhythm, it's important to try to get that weight shifting to uh, help your, your swing, uh, swing forming and generating the power from the movement as well, not only from the arm. Try to stay on your toes. So ideally you have two or three sideways steps, one, two, lunge, back forward to the T, one, two, lunge, back to the T, lunge. But if you don't have the space, you might have to do it with shorter steps, less long lunge. Finding the rhythm. It's really important to stay on your toes with those steps in between and really land your heel pretty much only when you hit the ball. Everything else is nice and light on your toes, which at the same time makes it a bit more demanding. You know, your, your calves are working harder. Definitely, I feel like my heart rate is going up, even though the pace is low. So it's just because we are going on and on without really having longer breaks. One more shot. Okay, good. Last one. Uh, your last? No, we have two more. Last one. <laughs> Why do I say last one? The one before the last one. Uh, four corners. And like we've been used to doing four corners in a smaller space, it would be front corner is kind of one step. So the front leg steps in and then you shuffle quick and then you do the back leg in the back corner, rotating, same on the other side, one and two. Normally we do this fast. Now the point is not going fast. 
So we just tried to find rhythm, technique, good rotation in the upper body, good swing forming, and taking time to make every shot work. Okay, ready? And go. Front and back. Front. So let's try to find a little bit of a flow in the movement. We're not stepping too far now, so it can be two steps. Oof, each direction. Here again, really try to emphasize the connection with the stepping into the ball and then the swing. So the body weight is shifting as you swing. Stepping in on the toes, stepping in on the toes. Nice and well balanced positions throughout the swing. Don't hurry. It's getting back to the tee from any shot. <sighs> And time. Okay, last one. <laughs> now it's the last one. Same one we just did, four corners. And now we're gonna raise our heart rate up a little bit, uh, which is obviously the goal towards the end of the training that we keep making it a little bit more intense. So now, after every round, so you do four corners, but when you come back from the fourth corner, you do four toe jumps. So you keep the racket hitting the toes. One, two, three, four. And then you do the next round. Four toe jumps, next round. So that might even encourage you to do slower rounds. So you get your breath for that after the jump. So that's a two minute round. It's more intense. So don't rush. Ready? And go. So first the four corners, back to the middle, racket to the toes, one, two, three, four, and round two. Back to the jumps. All of a sudden, I'm getting very quiet. Thirty seconds. Oh. 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 
still focused on your technique. Finish your round, and that's it. Whew, okay, let's have a little break. How is that for a warm up? <laughs> well, if the goal is to get warm, I think we succeeded. At least I'm very warm. Whew. Okay, are you ready for some stretching and then we can get to the real work? So let's start with the legs and first, well, let's start with the lower back. Let's start with the forward bend, get the lower back. Ah. Stretching first and as you lean forward, with a little changes in your position, with your legs mostly, like shifting hips a little bit from left to right or try to extend legs more or less and bring your head closer to your knees. Little things like that, you can really have a different area stretched. So try to find those, I call them cables in your back, just next to your spine. They get really tight when you play a lot of squash. So when you rotate your upper body slightly from left to right, you normally hit one of them on the other side. And it's really good to stay there for a little bit. Get them stretched. And let's go into a deep squat. And as deep as you, as you can go. So ideally we get the Achilles and the lower back Stretch, obviously the knees at the front as well, going really low. And, and what you can do here is also just move your hips around like this. So you bring your one knee down and switch the side. If, if this works for you, it doesn't work for everybody. But I find that my hip is getting a lot of uh, movement here. Really helps to open up the hip area. Not every every movement works for everybody. Unfortunately, that's why we have a lot of different things. Okay, back to the forward bend. And then we walk our hands into a plank. Let's stay in a plank for 20, 30 seconds. And then slowly start bringing your hips down on the floor. And at the same time, bring your shoulders down as you lift your chin and try to look at the ceiling. Breathing in this position is very tricky, but I do ask you to try to get a deep breath here as well. And then lifting your hips towards the ceiling uh, as your head falls down between your arms, your shoulders are nice and low. Spread your fingers wide so you get a good foundation for the down dog. If you like, you can, as you raise your hips, you can walk in place and shift the weight from one foot to another. And back to Cobra, hips on the floor, gaze up. Mm. 
One more down dog. <sighs> Couple of deep breaths here. And then big lunge with your right foot next to your right hand. And as you have this extreme long lunge position, try to extend the back leg as much as you can without dropping the knee on the floor. And if you feel like the hamstring, the glute, the whole front leg is kind of working with you, start rotating your upper body. God, I never know, I never remember this name of this position. <laughs> I should look it up. <sighs> hmm. And push your big toe into the floor. It wants to go up. And come back to the middle. Via plank, big lunge on the other side. Let's stay here for a couple of breaths. Let the body get used to this pretty extreme lunge position. You're very low, stretching your upper leg a lot, the glute, the hamstring, the hips, it's all under a lot of stress here. Bit by bit, start rotating the body. Try to follow your top thumb with your gaze. At the same time, when you push your left toe into the floor. And even more difficult, you have to breathe while you do it. Great shoulder opener, this one. And back to the plank. Whew. 10 push ups with the knees down. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Walk your hands back to your feet. Come to standing. Whew. Okay, we're gonna leave the upper body stretches. We got a little bit of stretching in the shoulders already, so let's start with some legs. Twelve movements. There's gonna be no ghosting because we already did that. <laughs> so that's kind of the bad news about the whole thing. Uh, like I said, a lot of legs. There's gonna be a lot of upper body today. Very unpleasant stuff, but let's see how we can handle that. We're gonna start with uh, plank burpee. So bringing your arms extended. You can do a push up every now and then in between if you like. That's optional, like I said before. And that's the first minute and then we Continue with lateral jumps. So burpee, plank burpee, jumps, ready. Let's go. Jump up, bring the legs back. Jump, bring the legs back. Optional push up. Come on guys, let's have some fun. Now I know what I miss here, my music. <laughs> Uh, somebody needs to give me some beat. I guess the heavy breathing is beating up. Squeaking. Squashers. Time. Woo. Let's start. Woo. Lateral jumps coming up. Ready? Let's go. Oh, <sighs> 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 
Remember, keep your body low, head low, bum low, touching the toes. Almost there. And time. Woo. Next one, backward lunge. Remember when you take a step back, reach overhead with your arms to get a good stretch and then jump and then back, okay? Let's go. Step back, reach, jump. Step back, reach, jump with the front leg. Great balancing exercise. Especially if you look up. Try to shift weight to the front legs and get that jump done. So easy to lose balance. Switch legs. Other leg back, reach over, jump up. Time. Woo. Next one, squat jumps. Woo. Nice. Show me some jumps. Okay, let's go. Remember to drop the bum, double the pain. No pain, no gain. Come on, where's the beat? I need the beat. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What a burn. Yeah, beat. Woo. Okay, on the floor, guys. Push ups. Whether you want to do it knees down or not, one minute. Long time. Push -ups. Let's go. Time. Oh, so happy to hear the sound. Oh, okay. We're gonna stay down on the floor. So go back into reptile position. Only straight ones today. Elbow touch. So knee to elbow. Reptile. Go. And and. And
Time. Okay, on your back. That's the best part. And bring your heels close to your bum. We're gonna do hip raises. Little hold with every race. And race, release. Race, release. Race, release. Up and release. Make sure you activate your glutes, squeeze them when you go up. Little hold and release. Great for the lower back muscles. Try to get only your shoulders and feet touching the floor. And that's time. Woo! What a great active rest, right? Okay. Oh, ships. I'll be riding these things without. Think about it, okay. Back to, <laughs> you're gonna hate me for this. Okay, it's gonna be straight arm, elbow, plank. So straight arms, elbow, so you switch. Plank, straight arms, go to elbows, lift back up. Straight arms, elbows. Straight elbow. Switch with the lift. Oof. Make sure the lifting arm is not the same arm all the time. Which shorter one? That was my fault. Sorry about that. Okay, now we can stand up. Finally, alternate lunge. Getting ready and go. Keep yourself nice and straight. Balance, jump, switch. Looking good, guys. Oh, as always, strong bunch, my team. Woo! Jump up, jump up. 10 seconds. Woo! Let's go. Up, 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 up. Oh, it's burning. Oh. oh, you know what? Don't hate me for this, but next one is burpees. Burpees with a push up. Oh. Oh. Okay, ready? Go. If the bush and push-ups don't go anymore, then leave them. 
Time. The last one. Leg race. On your back. This time. Legs up in the air and slowly dropping to hover and out. When you lower your legs, make sure your lower back is touching the floor. Slowly down and up. Slowly down. Well, guys, five seconds. Time. Woo! Oh, let's have a little break. This has been quite heavy. Oh. Okay, let's get some water. Oof. Man, I don't know what's wrong with me. Heavy today. How is everybody doing? Oh, you look, you're laughing, you're smiling, you're, you're looking. You're looking so at ease. I don't know what's going on. Are you wearing some sort of smiley filter? <laughs> ah, man, I don't know. Every day is different, I, I guess. Mm. Ah. Okay. Woo. Okay. Let's give another 30 seconds. If not for you, it's for me. Okay, the mask is dry. So we got a good warm up round there. We know what to expect now. Let's see if I can get this guy working with me. Woo! Okay. Round two. You look like you've been waiting for me. It's like, what's wrong with that guy? Come on. Get, get on with it. We don't have all day. Okay, I hear you. Well, I don't hear you, but I see you. I kind of hear you. All right. <laughs> We just did a bunch of burpees. Plank burpee. Our one of our many favorites is to start move. Everybody ready? I'm certainly ready. <laughs> uh, and go. Oof. Big jumps, guys. Big jumps. What's the ceiling? Oof. Ah. Oof. Five seconds. All right. Great. Squats. No, lateral. That's better. Okay, ready for lateral work. 
Go. Nice. Feel like I might be able to catch my breath here. Sorry about my heavy breathing. I would love to hear you guys breathe. Remember to rotate the upper body. Very crucial part of the movement. That's looking at this work as a preparation of a squash. So a lot of rotation. Range of motion. Balance. Come on. Last two. And time. Woo. All right. Backward lunge. Ah. Jump. Vertical jump with the front leg. Getting ready. Go. Ooh. Try to drop the back knee and shift weight to come to the front leg to, in order to jump. Use your arms to help for coordination. Oh, my front leg is giving up. Switch. Woo. Okay. Oh. Try to work 50 50 with both legs. Strike. Woo. Time. Ah, ah, okay. okay, squat jumps. Ah, sounds like a piece of cake. Not your, not your cake, Laura, but okay, here we go. The lower you go, the better. I can't say the better it feels because it feels horrible. But the better the result, let's put it that way. You can go side to side. You can go wide, narrow. Come on. What's wrong with my legs today? 10 seconds, guys. Ooh. 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 Time. Oh, geez, push ups. Lovely. Knees down or regular. Up to you guys. Go. <laughs> and just like we talked about this before, sometimes like today I'm feeling very tired. So I'm going to do this in a slightly milder way just to get, gain some energy for upcoming jumps and crazy stuff like that. So it's always good to, just like in a match, you might be tired for a couple of minutes, change the pace, recoup, you know, recoup yourself and come back stronger. Okay. On your back, hip raise. Another great so-called active break. Ah. So bring your heels 
Oh, under your bum to get that arch. <sighs> little hold at the top, little squeeze in the glutes and lower back, and then release. Try to get a really nice arch in your back. Oh. Getting the weight coming to your shoulders. Oh. Time. Okay, let's turn around. Get ready for the plank variation. Straight arm, elbow plank. Look, ready and go. About ten seconds. And that's time. Woo. Okay. We are already at the alternate lunge. Sounds like close to victory, right? Ready? And go. Good, looking good. Drop that knee, guys. I'm gonna keep your upper body nice and straight. Keep your weight equally on the front and back leg. Twenty seconds. <laughs> Time. Woo. Burbies. Everybody's favorite. It's the burpee. <sighs> Ready? Come on, guys. And jump. <sighs> Time. The moment I forgot the round one was forward lunge. So we're going to alternate lunge, alternation forward, 
Touching the floor. Go. And try not to touch the floor a millimeter in front of your toe. Go further. Reach out for it. Keep your body low. You know, just like you pick up a ball. You have to get there. Okay. Fifteen seconds. Oh, no, we're almost there. Five. Okay. On the floor, plank position for reptile. Okay, guys, let's go do this together. Ready? Plank, reptile, knee to elbow. Ten, ten seconds. Knees up. Ready. And go. Go lift them up, lift them up. I don't see your knees. What's going on? Come on. As you're running over logs, you don't want to step on them. Got to go over. Come on, higher. Okay, let's go. Up, up, up. High knees, guys, come on. That looks better. That looks better. Yeah. Keep going. Woo. Last 50 seconds. Arms up. High knees. Come on. One, two, one. One, two, one. Ah. Woo. 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 Faster. 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 All right, I think we, I think we did it. Whew. That's a wrap, great job.